Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is just a short video showing how I installed a new radio in the 2010 Cobalt. I'm doing everything inside the house first that I can with the wiring harness, so uh, getting all the ends off the wires, tinning the wires here, and uh, getting ready to solder it all together. Um, all the parts that I'm using are listed in the description of the video. And uh, since I'm doing the soldering, I went ahead and put some heat shrink uh, tubing on there so that I can do the heat shrink right after I'm done getting all the soldering done. It's quite a few uh, wires that have to be soldered together, so I'm just using a clothespin to kind of hold everything apart so I can get it all uh, situated. Once I'm done with soldering, I um, also have to realize that there's, uh, I think, five wires that you're not actually going to use because of uh, my application, just the way uh, my cobalt is set up. And you can see I've got them folded away there so that I uh, don't solder together the wrong ones. So once I've got it all soldered together, just trim up uh, the, the ones I'm not going to use, make it look nice and pretty, and then start working on the heat shrink tubing. So uh, since I put it on there before I soldered everything, I can just slide it forward and uh, use the heat gun once at a time to uh, get it all looking pretty, pretty okay. Once the heat shrink's all done, just use some loom tape to uh, keep it all nice and tidy and uh, looking nice. Comes with a chime module, so I attached it here as well. And now I'm working on the bracket that uh, is going to be what holds the radio into the car. So the side pieces actually can go into either side. And what I'm trying to show you here is that uh, you want to have the side pieces set up so that they are um, all the way up towards the top of the bracket and not hanging down towards the bottom. And once you get it in there, it'll be pretty obvious what I'm talking about. But uh, for this cobalt application, you actually have to remove the uh, top ears of this bracket. And this comes uh, in the, the, inf the instruction manual as well, and it tells you to take these off. So that's what I'm doing here. All right, it's time to put it into the car. So you disconnect the uh, negative battery first just to make sure you're not going to electrocute anything. And you've got to take these trim pieces off. On the left side, there's two snaps, uh, two clips that hold it in. There's four over the dash or over the glove box. And then there's six in the central trim piece. And I'm going to post a link to Ridgepin's video that goes through step by step how to remove the radio. There's four screws that hold it in. You can see and it pulls straight out. Pretty simple, two connectors in the back and then the uh, antenna cable. And I'm going to show you how I uh, kind of messed up this antenna cable. Okay, so I guess a lesson learned. So the the part that comes out of the radio that stays with the car is this black plastic piece that the antenna plugs into, and then the adapter that you get plugs in like that. So what I did is I separated the black plastic from the antenna cable, and it's not what you're supposed to do. Um, Looks like I can press it back in and it should be just fine, but just heads up on that. Um, you need to pull this black plastic piece out of the back of the factory radio. So assuming you don't make the mistake that I did, and it's even simpler than what I'm showing here, you just plug in the adapter for the antenna cable, plug in that harness that you soldered together earlier um, into the car, and then connect your radio up uh, to just one connector and the antenna to start with. And now it's all set to check it out. With the uh, radio working, now it's time to plug in the microphone. So I'm actually took the trim off. You can't really see it on the side of the dash. And I'm also taking the trim off of the angle piece here over the windshield so that I can clip the microphone up over uh, basically in that top corner, run the, the wiring down behind that trim piece into the dash through the uh, side of the dashboard there and underneath the steering wheel over to the radio. It's just that one uh, seven millimeter connector holding that piece of trim up. 
and uh, holds it in place really well. So then I just uh, fish the cable through, plug it into the back of the radio, and then uh, just put everything back together the same way you took it apart. It's really nice space behind where that radio is, so everything is going to fit back there really easily. So then just one final double check to make sure everything works, put the trim pieces back on, and you're good to go. So I hope this video was a little bit helpful and uh, show you how at least I did it for my uh, Cobalt setup. And if you um, like what you saw and would consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it as I continue to grow the channel. Good luck with your Cobalt and anything else you're working on. We'll talk to you next time.